I would say that this week has been really, really, really important to me and perfect timing. Everything's divine timing. But I just really needed the environment and... Big it's big. Yeah, two really big values of mine are deep connection and travel. So the fact that we could bring those two together oh, sweet, dead. Uh, has been really special to me. And I feel like I've been lacking both for a long time. Where did that end? But Yeah, it's really made me slow down and and be really present and grounded. And I felt quite dysregulated lately. So this is just kind of a great time. And I haven't thought too much about this retreat ending meeting. I was talking about last night how, yes, it's sad, but it's sad because there's so much love and goodness and it's so wholesome and that's why it feels so sad so it makes sense yeah yeah you're all very important to me so I love you all or the ease in your body. Feel the person's hand next to you. Feel that warmth. This week is a bit of like a life moment. Something that none of us will forget. And has, I think, set the tone for a bit of a path for all of us. And given me a newfound appreciation for you all learning from you all so much in the last 18 months, being on calls with most of you or catching up with most of you and uh, when we don't see each other and then also then exploring new levels of friendships this week. Some intentions that I want to carry going forward, some new ways that I want to live my life and yeah I think what Casey said I'm not feeling really sad now I was feeling a bit sad at the start of the week but now it's just it's the word I just keep coming back to all week it's just gratitude for everyone here obviously facade but yeah just it wouldn't be the same without anyone here. What this last week has meant to you, this is the last day, the last moment we're all going to be together in this way until next time. Um, but you never know if there's going to be a next time truly. We don't know where we're going to be. And so, very special, sacred circle that we have here to hold space for. And so I want, I'd like to treat it as such. And if you guys could spend a minute or two just expanding on what you said this morning and how you feel and what this last week has meant to you. Each person give one to three, one or a couple of words of what's in their heart right now. I feel more excited for all of our futures moving forward together, uh, both individually and as a group and both emotionally and physically and business-wise and everything in between. Uh, I want to express a lot of gratitude for all of you for reminding me to remind me that other people, the support that I want to show others and being, and when I want to hold others is something that they also want 
to as well for them but then also what they also want to express to me and that has been a huge part missing from me um, from my life sorry and you all just reminded me how nice it is and how lovely it is to to be loved and and love in return uh, I know that we'll all see each other again in the future I have no doubt about that in my mind uh, whether that's individually or as a group uh, and I just appreciate all of you so individually for what you bring to this group you're all so just special in ways that I can't or have time to explain uh, so I want to thank you all so much for accepting me and for letting me accept you all I'm excited to see where we all go One more inhale through the nose hold exhale out the mouth The last two months have been really hard. I've been challenged mentally and emotionally and spiritually. Um, I felt like I kind of wasn't present in my own body. Um, haven't been able I haven't been in an, in an environment where I've been able to be present apart from the environment that Alexander and I create together at home. But <clears throat> it's just been extremely daunting putting a lot of, I've put a lot of pressure on myself trying to make a decision which way do I go with my career and um, it's really daunting changing career paths because you're so good at something and you've done it for so long and you're at your peak and then you step away and you just think am I really adding a lot of value and do I feel fulfilled and is my heart in this and stepping away for, from something that I've done for 12 years is extremely scary and it's there's been a lot of fear and it wasn't until this week where I've actually had the space where I've been able to be present and I've been able to open my heart and listen to it and really figure out, just listen to my heart and, and figure out what it is that I want to do. And I am walking away from the retreat knowing and having clarity and certainty that I know where I want to go next with Alexander and what we want to build together and it wouldn't be possible to know that if it wasn't for all of you guys. So I know it's only been seven days um, and you guys have only known me for seven days but it feels like a lot longer. I feel like I've connected with each and every one of you um, so thank you for holding the space and thank you for being open and for kind of giving Alexander your blessing for me to come along um, it's it's really meant it's meant the world to me so I'm excited for what's next for us and what we build together and thank you for just opening your heart and bringing me on the journey with you and um, thanks for all of the support you guys have given Alexander and I in our relationship I'm sure it was very weird for you guys to see him be you know affectionate and kissing and showing a lot of love it would have been weird because I'm sure a lot of you have not seen him in that light um, but I appreciate you all embracing it so yeah I'm just really grateful for each and every one of you and what this experience has has given me awesome. I felt so present um, content I think to the way Lino reframed it last night, like 
don't necessarily think about what you love most, like what will you miss most, and like just sitting around the table, eating together every day and having genuine, deep conversation and feeling listened to, and understood and included and loved. Um, it's like it's the essence of life, like just everything here is, it's just everything I love in one place, like beautiful people, travel, immersion in different culture, nature, training, physical betterment, crying together, like love, like you're right Joe, sitting around in a circle holding hands, like it, it is sick, like it genuinely <laughs> is. <laughs> Seriously, breath work, like, it's everything I love so much. Um, yeah, and you all, in your own unique way, like give me so much energy and inspiration that like, genuinely all inspire me. So, thank you all. Exhale out. <sighs> Inhale in. When I started training, I had no idea it would turn into this. But when I knew I had it, I knew I had it. I knew this was something. I knew this... Uh, I knew I was called for something much bigger and significant and I felt lost and like there was something missing in my life before coming to this and I, and I was really... I was really frustrated at it at like this crossroads like there has to be something more. Alright, let's, let's do a little breathe together. All right. Close your eyes down. Because uh, I need it right now. Bow the head down. Close the eyes. Watch the breath right now. Feel yourself on the floor. I think it was just knowing that it would be the last walk uh, that I would have with the view that I have and with the uh, people that I have, knowing that like, because I haven't really done anything particularly on my own this trip. That walk was probably the first real, like, just time. I was like, I'm just going to take this time to reflect. And uh, it's like just even going for 10 minutes was like, I, I miss everyone already, kind of thing. And then seeing one of the workers out there just doing hard labor, that also got me pretty emotional to know that. At the end of the day, um, you can have all the money, you can have all the, uh, I don't know, whatever you want, like fame, you can have fancy dinners and all these high, these things that we value so highly, but I think it comes down to the simple things in life of just being happy and present in the moment and they get to wake up every day in this beautiful scenery and their only focus is to simply do their best to provide for their family that day uh, and and to live a simple and happy life and I think we get so distracted it's so easy to get distracted on any little thing and I just I hope for one for the most part that like when I return home uh, I can just be a little bit more present in my day-to-day -day life it's because it's really hard with all that we have going on and all the you know all the goals and aspirations that we all have to just slow down and stop for a second and just be present with uh, with what you're actually going through and, and the emotions you're feeling so yeah I, I, I got a bit bit, bit emotional and, and uh, teary eyed there but on the way back I like got this massive boost of inspiration and uh, goosebumps like excited for the future for all of us uh, I think we'll all meet again I do I think yeah I think everyone like feels the energy I don't think we leave this place being like fuck that that, that was shit like no one's feeling that way everyone's like fuck this was 
<laughs> it's like one of the best weeks of our lives. So I think if we just, I think it's important to remember that because once we leave, we can start to forget those things again and we can start to lose touch of the presence. Uh, so I think it's important that even though we're not going to be, not everyone's going to be doing alumni or X or whatever you have up and coming, that we still have a group chat and we still keep in touch and we still communicate and we still recognize how special uh, our circle is so that the next time the opportunity presents itself for us to have a retreat we are uh, we're all like longing to have this experience again not everyone knows this but there was a time where I decided not to come to this retreat um, and that decision was made and I thank you Alexander for having a lot of patience through that time a part of that was me going on that that journey of facing those fears and those hesitancies and vulnerability and coming has allowed me to break free from that and if it wasn't for that two hour call something like that, something ridiculous um, I probably wouldn't have been here which hurts because I don't know what my life would have looked like without this what my relationship with all of you would be like it, it wouldn't be the same so I have a lot of gratitude I was kicking myself all week what if I miss this? Yeah. so there's no sadness there's a lot of joy and happiness for me and thank you all for making me feel worthy I really appreciate it. You are. I think it's just been really cool to be here with everyone. Like, I actually just enjoy being around everyone so much and it's like every single day, I enjoy it, no matter what we're doing. And I think that's something that people really search for in their day-to-day -day life. And the fact, and the idea that like, just being here, whatever we're doing, we're just sitting there breathing, we're just like, this is fun. This is cool, it's cool being around all you guys. I love that. I feel, yeah, that bond that we've created is, it just gets stronger every single day that goes past, whether it's just like our regular weeks where we jump on a call or actually being here where it's a bit more intense. Yeah, it's it's fun. It's, it's really enjoyable just to be around a good group of people and to also have the, the added bonus of exploring a new culture and just new surroundings. I think they serve as the substrates for your thoughts which I feel pretty heavily so when I take myself out of my regular surroundings and change my routine and my habits I just approach things in a bit more of a fresher way and I'm sure everyone else gets that too because uh, if you're stuck in the same places with the same prompts you it's a lot harder to expose yourself to new ideas and new perspectives and new thoughts and new experiences and I came here like with a big intense focus on uh, will I figure out a little bit more about my why, a little bit more about myself. And I had no idea how it actually happened, but I think after coming here and doing all the things that we did, I leave even more secure than I already am about those kind of things. And with a couple new perspectives and thoughts to explore a bit further and how I carry myself. I wanna, I wanna make what we're doing now and being more thoughtful and doing things like breath work and being more in touch with each other's spirit, ourselves and others spiritually. I, I want, that's cool. I wanna make that cool and I wanna go back and I wanna maintain that energy and show it to other people and have other people asking you like, why are you like so happy and like, oh like, why you, I didn't know you think about stuff in this way. Like, I, I want that. So I want to bring that energy back. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very, my cups are filled. 
and I'm excited to see where the next. Um, I'm just excited to see where this progresses to. Yeah, it's just it's just the beginning. Feeling pretty dysregulated in the few weeks coming out to the retreat, and I feel like it's been a really good reset for me. Um, being in nature with everyone, the energy, the connection. It's been very healing for me and has meant a lot to me. And I feel like I'm coming back a different person with a new perspective. A lot of gratitude and yeah it's just it's just something I, I won't forget I will hold it really close to my heart has to be like what this is not this can't be it for me and I sat with it and I sat with it and then eventually this thing was created thanks to my mentor and I knew it was going to be great but I had no idea that you guys would make it you guys made it great you guys made it great it's I just facilitated and so I, I owe a lot of gratitude for all of you for actually helping make this experience as great as it has been because Trinity doesn't exist without you guys and the next intakes don't exist without you guys trusting and taking a bet and taking a risk on something that's never been done. It doesn't exist. You got nothing to compare it to. But really Since going to America, uh, that year, that first year, that first year of going to America was probably the hardest year of my adult life. And I obviously didn't talk to you guys about what I was going through and uh, the challenges that I was facing inside me, mentally, emotionally, uh, some pretty <sighs> there was many clouds of darkness that perhaps some of you might be surprised to hear, maybe one day we'll speak about and there's there was a beacon of light that kept me focused and on the path I'm not just saying this, but it was all of you. I knew, I knew that I couldn't let you guys down. And so, you guys inadvertently, without knowing, helped drive me through a lot of that darkness and a lot of that a lot of those really hard times, knowing that I didn't want to disappoint any one of you. So thank you for helping me. Maneuver through that. Thank you for giving all of your, your love and energy and an open heart and mind and soul into this experience. I really feel like I, I, I really feel like I'm with you guys now. Like this is like a cohesive family unit, right? Like the, what we've built here is this is a one of one. This won't be replicated ever again. And so it's a very sacred to me. And you guys, 
you guys are you know, like family to me and I'll always be here for you no matter where you go through life or how long we speak or don't speak and I want you guys to know that. Um, guys. You guys are really good. You guys are really good. And you've got this. The bigger the dreams that you have now, think bigger. Like you guys, you guys have the capacity to do things like this. Each and every one of you in your own domain. And I hope it serves as inspiration to do that. <laughs>